Okay, so you just woken up. You're taking a shower. You got some new clothes on. You're ready to go. You kiss your sweetheart or man goodbye. You're out the door for your job, you know, for school, to see your friends or families or whatever, okay? Whatever, whatever. Basically, you're just out the door. <sighs> Do you ever think about the people that you run into going to your destination? Like, on the bus? On the train, on the subway, whatever. Or you're just on the sidewalk. In the dense, dense crowds around you. Like, people you bump into. Literally, I mean, you actually bump into them. And you think they're rude because they don't say, I'm sorry. And they're just in a hurry, just like you. Do you ever consider what's going on with their lives? These people around you? Most of the time, you don't. Oh, sorry. We don't. I have to include myself in this because I don't think about other people a lot when I'm trying to get somewhere. Because we're just so focused and so determined. But what if something is going on with the people who think, who we think are rude around us? What is this story? Do we care? Probably not, but what if we follow the one? Just one person that we see and think is rude. Hey, that person right there. They just picked up the phone. Why don't we listen in and follow them just for one moment? Hey Connor, just wanted to congratulate you on the new office job. It will be a challenge, but you just got to get through like your big brother. Whoops, got to go. Catch you later. Push through? Yeah, right. What else can I do right now? So, the guy we're following is Connor. Interesting. And he doesn't seem to talk that much. In fact, it seems like he was just listening in to whoever he was talking to this entire time. But that's okay, because, you know, I'm not really a talkative person either. And... There's a lot of people who don't really like to talk. They just like to be there and listen in. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the important thing is, his name is Connor. But is that really important? No. The fact is, anyone can be Connor. Anyone can be the guy we're following right now. Connor could be the guy in front of you ordering that latte or that mocha or espresso, whatever those coffee things are called at that at Starbucks. I don't know the difference, I just know there's like so many different things at Starbucks you can order. They could be the person delivering your mail. Connor could be the one fixing your car. But we don't really know Connor. We don't really know who this guy is. Because we're just following him for the first time. In fact, if we weren't following him, we wouldn't care what he was doing. We wouldn't care if he was down on his luck, on his knees and legs, just crawling through life, barely getting by. In fact, it seems we really only care about people we know. Is that wrong? Maybe. But me personally, I don't think so, because I mean, there's so many people in this world. We can't care about everyone. I mean, we can, but we can't help everyone. Sometimes we just gotta help who we can help. But Connor, it's kind of intriguing to me. Well, oh, I'll finish up that later, because he just got another phone call. Let's listen in. Hey, little brother, it's been a while. I heard you've been working long hours into the night of your job. Don't push yourself. Sorry about the noise, it's been raining all week. Oh yeah, mom's birthday is coming up and we need to talk about a surprise. Ah shit, I lost track of time. Remember Christina, I promised I'd pick her up. She's going to kill me. I'll talk to you later. Christina, huh? I miss the rain. Hmm. Connor seems kind of like a loner. He doesn't really talk that much. He just lis listens in, and like I said, that's okay. And he sorts, he sort of hates the rain. Personally, I love rain. I find it so calming and beautiful, but hey, different strokes for different folks. Just like how he seems kind of sad and depressed. Everyone handles things differently. Everyone handles problems differently. Some people just get on their hands and knees and crawl one step at a time. They just tackle it one step at a time. Some people are more forceful. They just tackle it head on with full force. They don't know what's on the other side of the dark tunnel, but they keep on running and they keep on fighting. Some people drink. Connor, he seems like he just rolls with the punches. He lets it punch him, all his problems, and eventually he just fights back slowly. Some people listen to music in a corner. Some people talk to their friends. Some people don't talk at all. You'd be surprised how some people don't talk about their problems. 
And you'd be even more surprised on how well someone can hide their problems. Someone you see on the outside smiling can easily be suffering so badly, but you wouldn't even know unless you really paid attention. But why, why do you pay attention to a nameless stranger? Would you? I mean, I know I wouldn't. Oh, I had a phone call. You know, let's listen in again. It's been months. Haven't seen you since Mom's birthday. I've never seen her so happy. You looked a little grim. Cheer up, little bro. Anyways, I got some big news to share with you. It's about Christina. I'll tell you in person, you will freak out. I should be in town next weekend. Christina? I wonder how she's doing. I should call her. Tomorrow. It's kind of funny. We always... Well, not always, but most of the time, we put stuff off until tomorrow. We think we have time in the world. Time is a luxury. We can always get more time, but sometimes t time just stops for some of us. It's not always going to be there. And wait a minute. Is Connor? It. This looks like a morgue. Why is he in a morgue? If you saw someone on the street, the many people you see and you bump them to and you think them as rude because they they're just they have their head in the clouds, their faces down, they're not even paying attention around them. These people you don't even care about, these nameless strangers, do you ever, would you ever even imagine them in a situation like this? Hey, there's someone behind that curtain. Who is that? Huh? Friend, father, husband, my brother, rest in peace, JG. My memory is slipping. I forgot to tell you before I hung up. I always get your voicemail. Haven't heard your voice in ages. It seems I'm the only one talking. We should talk more. You're my only brother after all. Anyways, peace and love. See you soon. I wish we could talk more. I wish I talked more.